Hello and welcome to the short video in the how to series which will detail the steps required to clone, export and import a process in Blue Prism. By the end of this video you will be able to clone a Blue Prism process, export the process and import the process. In Blue Prism it makes sense to clone a completed process and reuse it again after some adjustments. Your completed process should be free of errors and everything should work exactly as intended for it to be a success. Building a new process from scratch can take a fair amount of time, whereas cloning the process can be done in seconds. You are then free to tailor the process to suit the requirements of the new project. Let's take a closer look at how you can clone a Blue Prism process. So here is the process I am going to clone in Blue Prism. Centrix Data Solutions, Input Orders. The easiest way to clone this work is to simply click File and Save As and give the new process a name. Now select a folder to save the process in. For this demonstration, I will save the cloned process in the default folder. Then click the Next button. Now you should enter a description of the process. For this demonstration, I will write Cloned Input Orders Process. Once done, click Next again. You will find the newly cloned process there in your process list. From there you are able to edit the cloned process as necessary to suit the new requirements. You can also clone your process and save it in a folder on your hard drive. This is useful if you are working in collaboration with other developers and need to share the process. Let's take a closer look at how you can export the process. To do this, simply click on File, Export and select this process. Let's make a new folder for the process on the desktop. Click on save and then finish. As you can see, the new process has been saved in the folder. Once a process has been exported, you or one of your colleagues may have to import it to work on it further. Let's take a look at how you can import the process back into Blue Prism. In Blue Prism, click on File, Import and Process Object. Browse to the process's location. Select the file and click Open. Click Next. You may encounter a conflict. As you can see, the issue here is that we haven't renamed the cloned process and we can't have two processes with the same name. There are a few options under the resolution heading. You can overwrite the existing process, assign a new ID and rename the incoming process, or don't import the process. In this case, we are going to assign a new ID and rename the incoming process. Add a new name to the process and click OK. Click Next, then Next, and Finish. And there you have it, the new process has been imported back into the process list and ready for editing. Thank you for watching this short how to video. You have seen how to clone a process in Blue Prism, export a process, and import a process into Blue Prism. Do you need Blue Prism training? Do you want to get certified or just improve your intelligent automation skills? If so, visit the Blue Prism University to browse through our training catalogue. You can also join the Blue Prism University community. The community is the ideal place to discuss and learn more about Blue Prism University and certifications. There are links to both the Blue Prism University and the Blue Prism University community in the description below. Do you need to get certified? 
we offer users several former certifications. Why not get certified and obtain your digital badges? You can share these online, allowing people to digitally authenticate your certifications and skills.